Good morning. Just wanted to hop on here and invite you guys to another daily prayer. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All-powerful God, St. Hilary defended the, di the divinity of Christ, your Son. Give us a deeper understanding of this mystery, and help us to profess it in all truth. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today, we, the church celebrates St. Hilary, who was born in 315, or in and around 315, to pagan, fam to pagan parents. Um, during his 30s, he both converted to Catholicism and was also named bishop of the local um, area within France uh, that he grew up in. And one of the big one of the big topics in ministry back then was this heresy called Arianism. Among other things, the, one of the primary beliefs is it denies Christ's divinity. As Catholic Christians, we believe that Christ is uh, both fully God and fully man. Um, and St. Hilary went around preaching that. Well, the local emperor didn't quite enjoy him preaching on that and eventually sent him into exile. So he goes out into what's modern day Turkey and he kind of doubles down on his anti-Aryan position, writing works uh, that we still have to this day on the Trinity, Christ's divinity, and all of that fun stuff. Well, the local emperor in Turkey didn't like what he was writing, what he was preaching either. So he sent him back to France. So he he got he was a well traveled guy, even though he wasn't necessarily wanting to uh, to do that. And one thing that we can take from his life is, you know. Christ doesn't guarantee us uh, an easy life. If we're, if we're in ministry, if we're out trying to spread his word, um, we can look at Christ's own life to see how his ministry, um, I guess, turned out here on, here on the earth. So in a special way today, let us pray for the catechists. Let us pray for the ministers. Let us pray for um, the priests, deacons, bishops, monks that are in either hostile territory or anti-Catholic territory. And uh, just lift them up in our prayers that they may be protected, that they won't may be, um, that they may be um, encouraged in their ministry. So thank you so much for joining me for today's daily prayer. I invite you back here tomorrow for another one. And in the meantime, God bless.